good morning. Got some snow on the mountain last night. Boy, was it a wet one. Whew. Well, it's not dusty. Got the P-Dub here today. Get the boy out riding a little bit. So goal for today, go down here, get the laser set up, crawl down into this hole for the septic tank and do some hand work, get it, get it fine graded. I uh, got the jumping jack from work, so get some compaction going in there. And then I got a drop box here today so I can start grading out basically the drain lines. Um, I've got five drop boxes to put in down this line and then those branch off to the drain field lines, which are running perpendicular. Uh, and those lines are totally level, so I need to establish basically the grade at each box and then make sure that I've got a completely level line for the drain field. I am grading this first drop box because this one controls the flow I have from where the tank sits. So instead of just grading the tank and then figuring this out, I already have my trench established. So I'm carrying my trench grade to the box and then running that uphill to then determine where the outfall is for the tank, which then determines how deep I need to be in the bottom of the hole, which is what I'm trying to grade. Okay, <clears throat> that's grade for the first drop box. And that is a 538. So I shot the, I just shot the bottom of the box, the inside bottom. The hole then I need to figure out to here. So I'll measure that up. That's flow line, flow line into the box, which is gonna be a nine inches. So that's a 075, which we would go down on the grade rod, 75. And it is too early to do some math. So I'm gonna call it a 540. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, and I'm 38, seven, four, one, two. What's that put me? That puts 563. Somebody check that. 463, sorry, somebody check that. <laughs> well, 463, so we'll just, we'll just shoot it and make sure. Very close, very close. Okay, so 463, now the thing we gotta add to that is flow line into the first drop box. I wanna go a quarter inch per foot of fall to that first one. So I need to subtract that from the grade as well to raise it up. So by the time I get to the hole, I'm gonna say nine feet. So a quarter inch per foot, that would be two and a quarter inches. So we're gonna add, we're gonna subtract from the grade rod. We're at a 463 right now. And we're gonna subtract two tenths. That'd be a 443. I'm all over that one. That was easy. That is basically the height of the trench coming out of the box, that 443. Now, it is 51 inches from the outfall of the tank to the bottom of the tank. So I need to then add that to the grade rod. I'm at a 443, and we've done this before. It was a 425 to get to the bottom of the tank. So I should write some numbers down, go grab a pen. That way I can remember, remember all this stuff. Come on back, start shooting the bottom of the septic hole tank in thing. Okay, okay. If you've stuck with us through this informational aspect of the septic system, you might have learned that flows downhill. Just kidding, you likely already knew that. However, we are trying to provide details for the folks who are wanting to DIY their build too. We haven't done any projects quite like this before either, so we're trying to share the whole process. And while not every one of our videos will be this detailed, we'd love to hear from you. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think.
What are you doing? Going in my hole. The excavator guy couldn't get it to grade, so I gotta come back and fix what he messed up last time. Whoever that guy was last week, I can't remember. Different guy last week. Younger version, huh? Some guy. He's not as smart or good looking as I am, so uh. anyway, had to bring in some good help. Daddy? Yeah. Are you the house? Is that really loud? Yeah, louder than you. Outside, not inside. <gasps> I need to take off. our grade okay so fast beeps mean go down slow beeps mean go up 538 that was our number from this morning even mm. means we're doing something right see that constant beep yep. that's perfect perfect okay perfect okay I'm gonna do a little of this a little of that and then morning Friday morning just after six beautiful day headed for the property we got three deliveries coming got the first one showing up will be the electrical vaults and that should be they told me between seven and nine this morning so catch this first thing and then I'll head back into real work 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 uh, work for a few hours and then sometime just after lunch they told me the septic tank would be showing up and I've also got all of the parts and pieces, the plumbing pieces for the drain field, septic drain field. So three three things today. Today's kind of one of those days that, you know, you do a lot of work, uh, like preparatory work for a day like today where things come and get, get set, you know, and that's a pretty satisfying day. So looking forward to it and hopefully everything goes smooth. Well, this guy called. Oh, about 30 minutes ago. He should be here any minute, and I'm excited for a couple reasons. Obviously, getting this done is good, but this will be the first big truck down the driveway. Kind of curious to see how much spacing we have for all the trees and whatnot and see how it fits through here. So, hope you all goes well. About the chainsaw just in case. Made for kids, it's she made. says. <laughs> Got in the septic tank box. 
I don't know if that's what it's called or not. Got the whole family out here to watch it happen. All right, well, that's a wrap on today. Going home kind of early. I think it's only about 6 o'clock, 6.30. Got the two electrical vaults set and the septic tank set. And then got, at the end of the day, got a delivery of this easy flow material right there. Bam! You got 120 feet of 30, 34, four inch pipe. It's easy flow material there. And then parts, pieces, couplings. Tank set looking good. Got a 24 inch riser, way too tall, but I can cut it down to size. I didn't really know what the size was gonna be. So I can play around with the backfill and kind of see what the grade looks like once I backfill the tank and make a decision. All in all, not a bad day. Didn't accomplish a lot, but got a lot delivered and yeah, dealing with deliveries and takes time to go meet people at the end of the driveway and make sure they make it here all right. So like I said, tomorrow, uh, jump on that. We'll go get a laser level, a jumping jack from work. I got I to gotta clean up the, the header pipe trench. I'd like to put some compaction to that just to know, just to sleep better at night knowing that things won't settle on me. Saturday morning, we're doing the drain field today is the game plan and I don't exactly know where to start so obviously I have a tank in the ground which means I'm at my fixed point can't really work around that one so I'll start there work my way down the hill to get my header pipes put in and then start dropping in the easy flow material you can see here we've got five end caps five of the connector pieces that goes from the header pipe into the start of the easy flow run We've got a Y, I believe it's called, three elbows, a Fernco, and two end caps. I'll be sort of kind of working through, figuring out where all that stuff goes, making sure I have all the right parts and pieces. Obviously, if I'm short on something, I'll have to wait till Monday to go round all that up, but at least I'll know where I stand. Quit beating around and uh, get to it. So, boss is watching, I gotta get to work before I get in trouble. So what I did here was I basically just kind of stair-stepped each drop box location and then leveled out. So the drop box goes there and then leveled out four foot six out to that pink mark at each trench. What I didn't do last night was uh, go get the laser level and jumping jack like I talked about. So there's my manual jumping jack and there is my manual laser. And since I didn't have a laser level uh, to get the grade over I just cut some blocks so in other words I'd set the block right here to establish three inches up simply cut in the box now so the box is now sitting too high but this dirt grade this dirt grade here matches all the way level out to there which is where the easy flow will then start so next step now is to go through and basically just cut in these boxes cut it down to where this is flush with the dirt, three inches, get them set, and then I can start running pipe and easy flow, really. So I think while well, the dirt's still wet this morning, I get good compaction out of it. Got them halfway backfilled around the side just to lock them in. And then obviously I'll leave this side open to grade. Now I'm gonna clean up uh, and then go through and start dropping the easy flow in. Well, time to get going. Gotta go coach a pre-K soccer game. Last game of the season, go Lions. What did I spend? I probably spent five hours, no, four hours, give or take today. Basically those four boxes set, four drop boxes, one, two, three, four. Still need to get the last one in from HD Fowler. We'll get that hopefully Monday. Got all of the easy flow material in, ready to go. Looks pretty good. Five runs, 80 feet long. And the next step is gonna be 
cutting up that material, that four inch pipe, 3034. So I will plan on doing that next time. You like it? And there's red in it. Yeah. I am working on backfill in the drain field, the septic drain field. So I just did the first run. As you can see, there's four runs there. I just did the first one. And it looks looks alright. Keep chipping away at these. Get this done this evening and then be ready for some more water and pushing out the pad tomorrow is the plan. That wraps up our segment of our septic installation. We did our best to share our process as simply as we could for those of you who are watching who are thinking about building your own barn aluminium. And hey, if you're following along just for fun, maybe you learned something new today. Leave us a comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for subscribing to our design build adventure. We'll see you soon.